Hi everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me Mr. P and welcome back to another episode in the Proxmos Home Server series. In this episode I will show you what steps you need to take to recover your Proxmox node from complete disaster while all your backups are stored inside Proxmox Backup Server. So let's begin. First thing what I want to show you before going any further into this video is how everything is set up, how I set all this for this demonstration. First of all, I have three Lexi containers representing all sorts of things that you might self-host inside your home lab. I have a website, which is pretty much like a WordPress. I'm virtualizing Zabbix inside the Lexi container, and I have a Docker running inside one of the Lexi containers, and a Docker is pretty much just a one container running, which is Gotify. And I do have access to Gotify. I can go and click around. So Gotify is running. And obviously Proxmox Backup Server is running with all the backups showing up here. So what I need to do to get everything up and running. Let's say you have a complete Proxmox disaster. Your node is completely died. But you know that you have your setup or backup set up in this specific way. If you go to Data Center and then I click on a backup, as you can see, I have two backup destinations. And I suggest to do this if you're running single Proxmox node and you want to utilize Proxmox backup server for your backups, you need, or I would re highly recommend to set up in this way because if you set the backups in this way, it's going to be much easier, stress-free, headache-free. It's going to be a breeze for you to restore everything if your node is completely dies. So the way I set this up is that all the backups of all the virtual machines and like containers at 9 p.m., this time is irrelevant. It can be 6 a.m., midday, whatever time you choose, are being sent to Proxmox Backup Server, except the virtual machine 100. And this is PBS. So Proxmox Backup Server backs up everything from a single node except itself. And the reason for that is that technically you can use Proxmox Backup Server to backup itself, but that backup process will take forever. And there is a high likely that that backup process will crash. So don't try to backup Proxmox backup server into itself. Instead, you set up a second run of the backup. Ideally, I would say an hour after, I set up two hours after, but you run everything and you then check inside the logs how long the, all your VMs Lexi containers getting backed up. Then give a, about, I would say 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes lead time, just extra time on top, and then run the second one. So the second one, that will run at 11 p.m. I gave two hours gap, but I definitely can go with 30 minutes gap, knowing that only three Lexi containers are here. At 11 p.m. is being sent to NAS, the backup being sent to NAS only the PBS. As you can see, it says here, yes, selection mode, include selected VMs, and it's only this is selected. So Proxmox backup server getting backed up old fashioned way, the standard Proxmox backup way to the NAS. And the NAS is network attached storage, is my Samba, uh, SMB shared folder, but this can be anything. It can be a USB drive, external drive. It can go to a NAS and then you just replicate somewhere else because NAS, most likely your NAS is set up in, with some sort of RAID and you need to remember that RAID is not the backup. RAID is just a storage storage place where the backup, the, the basically the definition of the backup is not the storage. The backup is the process, the steps you take to make sure that you have a somewhere a very working backup file for you to restore. So in my case, I'm sending Proxmox backup server into the NAS and then it automatically gets replicated into a bag blaze because you always need to follow the rule of backup 321. You need to have three separate backups on two separate me storage media, which one of them is outside. In my case, I'm backing up to a NAS, which automatically gets replicated into a bag blaze. You can set up, for example, the backup going to USB drive and then automatically copy it into external another drive and then upload it to Google Drive or something like that. And PBS is basically, like I said, sends everything into the into the this location, which is again it's another shared folder inside the same NAS. But same thing, it's automatic gets replicated into a bag list. So I have a copy locally and I have copy into inside the cloud. Let's pretend that my basically this node completely crashed. And I will do that by wiping completely all these LXC containers and VMs and deleting the storage location. So let me do that. And here we go. I have a Proxmox node 
with no VM select containers and any external storage assigned to. So let's take this as a fresh install with Proxmox. So what I need to do to get back up and running. So like I said, let's pretend that I just reinstalled the Proxmox and I know that how I set up my backups. I know that my backups are set up in two separate locations. One location is only for Proxmox backup server and another location to restore using Proxmox backup server. So number, number one thing what I need to do is connect the USB drive or external drive or any other storage media where I have a fully working Proxmox backup server backup. I know that mine is located inside the network test storage shared via NFS. So that's what I'll do next. I'll click on a data center, storage, add, NFS. I'll give it a name. So I will call this, let's say NFS right now. It was NAS, but right now I will call it NFS. Server is going to be this, which is my IP address of, a NAS, of my network attached storage. I'll pick the Proxmox dash OAT, which is my um, shared folder where I keep all the stuff. And I know inside there, I should have I should have VZ dump backup file. I'll deselect this and just I will make sure that VZ dump is only selected. I actually I can actually click ISO files, templates, and yeah, containers. Why not actually everything? Yeah, it should be everything and yeah, snippets. So I'll click add. So I add it. I'm adding this network attached storage. But in your case, it can be a USB drive, anything where you stored your fully functioning Proxmox backup server backup. So once that is attached, if I click on that, I click on the backups, and here we are. I have my Proxmox backup server, which is backed up from last night at 3 p.m. or sorry, at 11 p.m. So select that, make sure that the right one is selected. Yes, I click restore. And now storage, I need to choose a different storage because I backed up into storage by name NAS. I just want to make sure that this has been overwritten and it's right now going to be stored inside NFS. And I'll say start after restore and press the button restore. So right now Proxmox backup server is restoring, sorry, Proxmox is restoring Proxmox backup server from original, from the fully functioning backup. Proxmox backup server restored. And if I click on that, click on a console, let's see where it is now. Okay, so it's still in a startup mode. So let's give another second or so for all this to fully, fully start and fully function. And here we are, Proxmox Backup Server started and is presenting me with the IP address followed by port number to access. But I will just click on this page, which one is failed before, as it automatically reloads. And here we are, I'm back inside Proxmox Backup Server as it was yesterday at 11 p.m. And I can see all the backups inside the backups data store. I can see all the backups showing up here. So right now I need to go and pick the right ones to backup. First thing what I need to do is to make sure that Proxmox knows about that this Proxmox backup server exists as this is a fresh Proxmox install. So first thing what I need to do, I click on a data, so data center, storage, click add and choose Proxmox backup server. I click on that and give it a name. So this, this time I will call this backups. On the server, I'll need to provide the IP address of a Proxmox backup server, which in my case is ending with 127. Then you need to provide the username. Username, if you created the username following my guide from the previous video where I gave you a demo how to set up all this, you probably have a user created with the, um, with the permission set up. For simplicity of this video, I'm just going to go and use the root user instead to ac access all the files. Provide a user, user username at PAM and the password for this user. The password is the password that you use to access the Proxmox backup server via user called the root at PAM. Then I need to give it a data store. In my case, it's going to be backups. To verify that, I click on the Proxmox backup server and check if it says backups here. It can say anything. In your case, we will say backup, backups, vault, data, storage. You just need to make sure that this is entered correctly. And then I need to provide a fingerprint which if you follow my previous video, you will know that you need to click on a data store name that you're using for your backups Then click on a summary, show connection information and click on this button to copy this entire line. Let's close that, go back into a Proxmox and paste that in here and click add. Now the Proxmox knows that there is a Proxmox backup server somewhere connected, somewhere exists and is connected that in and boom, here we go. I have all the backups the Proxmox backup server contain. So if, if I do A to Z or newest to oldest, let's see which one I need to back up. So these two I can see happened yesterday at 9 p.m. So one is literally being done in like three seconds and etc. So let's go and first of all restore WordPress. 
So select the backup that I want to restore, click restore. It says that store is going to be used in FS because great, it's automatically detected this is the one it's going to be used. I'm going to say start after restore. I will not choose unique. Unique is pretty much, as you can see, it's auto generates unique properties like MAC address, IP address, etc. I want to restore as it was yesterday at 9 p.m. and I want that to automatically start. So I'll tick here. I will not do any changes to the any settings of the LXC container and I will just press restore to start the restore process. And here we are. My WordPress website is up and running. Task is OK. Backup or restore is finished and it's automatically starting. We can click on that and click on the console and see how it's going. And that is backup and running. So let's see if I can ping, for example, Cloudflare. Everything is working on this side. So next I'll click back on NFS or sorry on the backups. Select backup and next one I will choose to restore Zabbix. So I'll select Zabbix and most recent backup I want to restore. Click on the restore. Again, everything is okay, except I'm just going to click start after restore and proceed. Zabbix is restored and is starting now. It's actually already started. That was fast. Next, I'll do exactly the same with the Docker dash YT. Docker Lexi container restored. So I can close that and let's verify. If I click on the portainer, I click on that, log in, and here we go. I'm back into my Docker Lexi container or portainer Docker management system. I can see that everything is running. I think Gotify is starting. If we can verify if it's already started. Here we go. It is. So I can log in. And my Gotify is back up and running. If I refresh this page, this should be, if I remember, yeah, Zabbix. It tells me that I need to re-log in, which I can do now. And here we go. I'm back inside the Zabbix dashboard. Zabbix is working. Gotify is working. Proximal backup server is working. My WordPress website is running and that's it and I got everything back up and running so just a quick recap why it's so easy the reason why it's, this looks so easy is that I decided and it's basically how my main Proxmox uh, main Proxmox cluster setup I even use this kind of setup uh, backup setup process in the, in the same way if I would run a single node two nodes three nodes cluster and etc is that I need to split backups in two different locations. Number one, inside an NFS, let's say at every day at 9 p.m., I will backup only Proxmox backup server. But hour before, into backups, I will backup everything else. So let's do this way and accept the PBS. So let's double check. So at 8 p.m., everything is getting backed up into Proxmox backup server except itself. An hour later, only Proxmox backup server is getting backed up to NFS, which as soon as backup is finished, auto task triggers and then it sends that file, the backup file, into, Prox into a backblaze. I hope this video helps. I hope this video will help when, let's say, your uh, complete disaster will arrive. You never know. It can, it can, your, your Proxmox node might die tomorrow. It's probably going to even crash right now while you're watching this video. So while your Proxmox node is still running, please consider to subscribe to this video or at least click like button. And like always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.